A lot of people say that Minecraft nowadays on YouTube kind of sucks compared to what it used to be. They say the old days, the videos were just so much better. But do I think, well, I actually think the quality of Minecraft videos now is higher than it's ever been. Like the pacing's different and everything, but the amount of effort that goes into a Minecraft video is, is 10 times crazier. And I think a lot of people are just nostalgic about what they used to watch when they were younger. But anyway, we're going to see what this YouTuber, UYT, has to say. Also, don't forget to grab a 9,000 days poster. They are limited edition and are signed every single one by hand. There's not that many left. Left, and once they're sold out, they are gone forever. They're available at sp77.store. And whilst you're there, you can also grab a cool little SP Penguin t-shirt. You can get a custom name under it, whatever, whatever you fancy. I've got Daniel, because that's my name. So yeah, check out sp77.store. And let's now watch this video. Lots of people have been saying that modern Minecraft sucks, or that Minecraft on YouTube sucks now, or that Minecraft is falling off. Or are they all true, though? Personally, Minecraft definitely is not falling off. There's definitely been a boost in Minecraft since the update, and... And I think, yeah, I think Minecraft is definitely up for summer. It might go back down in, in September when everyone goes back to school. I don't think it sucks, though, but anyway, let's continue. They're not guns to Minecraft. What? That last one wasn't real. But <laughs> these are we're not in guns to Minecraft. Opinions. Lots of people have them, but are any of them actually true? Well, remember that these are not facts. These are just opinions. That's true. See, a lot of people think that Minecraft in the early days, like 2011 through 2015, were the golden ages of the game. Notch was still in control. OG YouTubers like DantyDM, Stampy, Popular MMOs, and others were agreed in popularity and people were those just were the ones going up yeah about the game i mean just a lot of the hype that is true that is true minecraft was, true. Minecraft was so popular but then wasn't now it is worse apparently with trends like 100 days civilization videos and most of hey, all 100 days trends are great also apparently i'm in this video somebody posted on my reddit right here and they said it's the kind of thing that i would react to so i'm, I'm glad they posted because actually i'm looking forward to watching this some p content it seems that less people are watching and playing minecraft and people are saying that yeah, because I think of the repetitive I, I, nature. Less people watch them play, perhaps, than they used to, but I don't think... It honestly kind of feels like think... copy and paste with some of these videos. Maybe because well, some fair. of them literally do. But how can this be true? Minecraft is the most popular game right now. Uh, yeah, people. less people are watching. I, I think it's more of a thing of, like, where Minecraft is in the development set. Like, why don't they add new dimensions, new bosses, and stuff that people actually want? <laughs> you know, rather than... Like, the mace was a cool addition. The trial chambers were cool, but they didn't... They, for that, it, we waited an entire year and we just got the trial chambers. It doesn't feel like a massive thing. You know what I mean? That's my personal opinion. More than ever. Literally being more popular than the United States of America. And yes, <laughs> Minecraft is it. more. That's a fact. <laughs> and even more well, of an argument against this statement is that not just Minecraft, but Minecraft on YouTube is more popular than ever. Lots of YouTubers that weren't even present in this platform before 2020 are starting to make a living off of modern Minecraft YouTube. But That's despite true. all this, and perhaps it is nostalgia who's talking some people just say that Minecraft on YouTube isn't the same as it used to be in a bad way. But the problem with saying all of this is that I can almost guarantee you it comes from the people who enjoyed old Minecraft YouTube back in the years that I just mentioned. They liked easy That's the people that says it, the ones that used to watch in 2011 to 2015. And I think, yeah, I do think it is nostalgia talking with a lot of that. I think a lot of people are like, I, I, I used to watch these uncut videos at 20 minutes. If you do that on YouTube now, no one would watch it. Honestly, nobody w would watch it. You have to put more effort in because that's what people have come to expect. Otherwise, your average view duration is not good and your video is not going to do that well. And the people who are putting in the effort and making m m more higher edited and um, higher storyline and putting and, and doing more to it, they will get more views. Now, th that's not to say that there isn't a, a place for the slow-paced content, but... The way it was done in 2011, 2012, where it's completely uncut for 20 minutes and just ch talking and stuff and, and there was no music in the background, like stuff like that, it just doesn't really work now. I, it, it just doesn't. That's from my experience as a channel that has adapted over the time uh, that used to make videos like this. It just doesn't really work. Easy to watch, non-highly edited play sessions of Minecraft YouTubers. Back but I do still think that uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube now that are too highly edited, too fast-paced and too in your face. I think I think there is a point where it's gone too far for a lot of them. So I, I think there is maybe a middle ground to th that's the sweet spot, really. In those days. But Minecraft YouTube is changing. And those same YouTubers that you once loved watching as a kid are either gone from the platform as a result of quitting YouTube, have followed those trends and become mm. one of those Minecraft YouTubers with extremely high edited content or have pursued singing instead of Minecraft content for some reason. Here, I'll show you an example. Let's <laughs> look a few at SP737. Oh, hang on a minute. 
what a great hey i tell you what we'll we'll take this every day of the week let's uh let's see what he's got to go well hopefully a great example okay let's do it I'm singing instead of minecraft content for some reason here i'll show you an example let's look at sp737 a big minecraft youtuber with over 5 million collective subscribers across all his channels oh Back yeah in I have october actually. of 2014 he started a minecraft let's play series on a single player survival world much like snappy's lovely world called sp's awesome world this was just him being creative and building in minecraft with a fairly unedited video only having game audio vocal audio and maybe even some background music but other than that it was just him playing Did somebody minecraft. play like in a I recreation of my world, world. maybe even some that's not my world as somebody got a recreation of my world and done that okay cool background music but other than that it was just him playing minecraft that was what old minecraft youtube was like but that's look true. at his channel now and he's following the trends with hardcore minecraft videos smp videos soon to be live steal and most of all those videos that he makes now are highly edited he switched because he would get more popular this way and also because of that sweet cat the new wave of people watching there minecraft you go. youtube is bigger than the old wave of people i i would i would definitely say for me the reason that I've managed to keep kind of growing my channel and, and doing well on YouTube is the whole idea of adaptation and adapting your content and not just staying the same and getting overtaken. Like, you've got to keep with the times. And I definitely think the videos I make now are way more entertaining and better to watch than they used to be. And there's still always nostalgia and stuff. And, you know, I enjoyed, like, the awesome world and the I'm a Joel and stuff and everything. That was cool. But the whole other end of the spectrum where the high the higher level of quality and editing and, and stuff i think the videos are better personally i think my videos are, are, are as, as good as they've ever been you know for the for the quality who liked unedited videos and therefore most youtubers switch with the occasional exceptions for etho green and others both are members of the hermitcraft server by the way but you get the point these yeah, some have kind of kept the content and managed to make it work i think green still makes it work views. well it gives them more subscribers and, and you know, it gives them a, a job of, in the long term views. they found a new audience some of which being part of the older audience and they're successful in doing this they make videos that please the 2024 algorithm and they're making a career out of it i mean if minecraft youtube change again these youtubers would still adapt to it of course they're not. There good. you go. We would. We'd adapt. We would if, if Minecraft YouTube changed again, we just adapt. If it went back to the old pace old way it used to be in twenty eleven, we'd adapt and we'd we'd make videos like that. Like, you know, part of being a YouTuber is making the content that people wanna watch. That's that's kind of the way it's gotta go to stay with a smaller audience if a much bigger one is waiting for them in the newer content but the reason why they do this is because people want it someone did it first and then people liked it so they did it again and then they kept on getting more popular and people kept on enjoying it and people kept on copying them because they saw that they were getting views and pretty soon almost the entirety of modern minecraft youtube is taken over by these highly edited videos which was bound to happen at some point because it's happening all over youtube itself, it's happening all over youtube that's minecraft. true some people don't like this in fact you probably don't but that's nostalgia talking the feeling that the past was way better than the present is now either yeah, that or you just nostalgia. simply enjoy under edited content over the new stuff which is reasonable and understandable but whether you like it or not stupid rules the world along with trump and biden and if people like something no matter how unoriginal or uncreative it is people will support it because they like it making it more and more popular making more and more creators do the same thing and that is what some of minecraft youtube is experiencing right now Okay, not all of Minecraft YouTube is experiencing what I just said. In fact, new okay. creators who weren't even part of YouTube before are doing modern content because it's so popular. And it's so popular for the reason I just explained. There's And there's a lot of people who are doing the modern content and just blowing up straight away. And like, they've got like 10 videos on the channel. I have the million subscribers in Minecraft, which is crazy. I have 2,000 videos. I mean, where's, <laughs> where's the justice in that? So it is crazy when you look at that. So really, does modern Minecraft YouTube suck now? Or did you just grow out of it? I, I think for me, like... I, I want to try and ad, like adapt to the new content strategies that I need to without isolating my old audience, without losing them. I try to make it still something that would appeal to my current audience, but also appeals to the new audience as well. Um, or if you if you do adapt your content, it's got to be gradual. You can't just go straight in all guns blazing, really. Um, so that's that's a lot of what I, I think about. I, I think a lot of modern Minecraft, you know, it's a lot of cool stuff. There's still a lot of originality in there, I think. Um, a lot of a lot of creative ideas, but there's also a lot of people like just copying what is working on everyone else. That's kind of the, the name of the game on YouTube as well. Still waiting for that next big trend in Minecraft, I think. I don't think there's a real trend at the moment like there was with the maybe the 100 days and then Minecraft Hardcore was a bit of a crazy trend and it's all like died down a little bit. See what the next thing is. Hopefully it's Lifesteal Season 6. That would, uh, that would be awesome. But yeah, 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the merch on sp77.store, and I'll see you later.